typical Halloween margarita flight. <laughs> what you think, Daddy? It's We have just arrived at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We're staying in the Copper Creek Villas for a couple of nights before we board the beautiful Disney Wish for two back-to-back -back cruises. One will be a four-night cruise and the second one will be a three-night cruise and we're really hoping that the hurricanes in the Atlantic cooperate and everything goes off according to plan. Right now we have beautiful weather. Our room's not quite ready, so we're gonna go grab a bite to eat at Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Change of plans. We ended up getting some French fries at Roaring Fork because the wait at Geyser Point Grill is 50 minutes. We are gonna wait on a table, but we've decided to get a little bit of a snack before our table is ready. No sooner did we start nibbling on our french fries, but we got a text that our table at Geyser Point Bar and Grill was ready. So that was probably the dumbest idea we've had today, but at any rate, we're about to get some yummy food, and I'm really looking forward to the Halloween margarita flight. So here is my beautiful Halloween margarita flight. This is unique to the Geyser Point Bar and Grill at Wilderness Lodge. Over here we have a pumpkin margarita, then we have blood orange, and then um, an apple something or other, and then black magic. And the black magic has this, this like skull shaped ice cube in it, so that's really fun. I'm going to try each of them and see which one's my favorite. Okay, let's try the pumpkin first. You can definitely taste the tequila. It definitely tastes like pumpkin spice, but I don't get any pumpkin, um, and it's very sweet. Now the blood orange. That one's very good. Again, you can taste the tequila and it's not quite as sweet, but it's a little bit tart. Next up is this apple situation, which matches my dad's shirt. Take a look at this. It matches his shirt. <laughs> but I digress. Let's take a taste. Mm. This is like if a Jolly Rancher, like an apple Jolly Rancher met a margarita. That's what it would be like. So it's good too. Again, not quite as sweet as the pumpkin. Now we have the black magic. I don't even know what the flavor of this is supposed to be. It's just called black magic. So this could be grape. It could be, you know, black raspberry. It could be anything. So we'll, we'll find out. This one's probably my favorite, but I still don't know what it is. It's got little seeds of some sort in there. So whatever it is, it's very fresh. But I have absolutely no idea what the flavor is, but it's very good. So now I will enjoy all of these all to myself. All right, our food has just arrived. And in this corner, we have our teriyaki wings and then a bowl to put our bones in. And... Thank you. Can we get some plates as well? Oh, we've got plates. Okay, thank you. And then over here, we have our brisket. We're sharing it. All of that's not yours. And then over here, we have this brisket barbecue dip with house-made chips. 
and our cheese and charcuterie board just showed up. And then mom got crab cakes. Super yummy looking. Me again, and we just got our room. It was absolutely perfect. We were just wrapping up lunch at Geyser Point Bar and Grill when I got the text that our room was ready. And so we went to our room and you guys, we hit the jackpot. We booked a studio with bathtub um, at, at Copper Creek Villas at the Wilderness Lodge. And there are six rooms that are in that category that have this layout that I'm about to show you. And we got one of them. I am so excited. This is room number 2115. And let me show you all about this. First of all, the location cannot be beat because it's right at the door that leads out to the courtyard. And then here is our room, 2115. And now we're going to get in here. in just a second. There we go. And we walk in and this is what we see. So let's just start at the right here and we have our standard closet. No big deal. We've got some extra pillows up here and there is a safe back there. We have an ironing board and in the bathroom there's probably going to be an iron. And then there is a rack for your luggage if you'd like. And then we come over to the right and here's our kitchenette and there is a microwave <coughs> and there is a um, coffee maker there's some coffee here we have our mini fridge and then we have our sink area and up here we have our ice bucket and some extra cup Ooh, that was loud and some extra cups and plates etc and then I love this little feature. Ooh, here's some paper towels. Um, I love this little feature because it's like a little pantry. So if you're gonna be here for a, a while, which would be longer than we are, and you bring some groceries in, then you have a lot of room to sort of store some of those pantry items that you want. And then we have our drawer that's got some utensils in it and a can opener, bottle opener, dish towel. All the standard things that you find with Disney Vacation Club. There's a garbage can down there. And then under the sink, we have our safety fire hydrant and some more paper towels and some more dish soap and another dish towel. <clears throat> and then up here at the top, we have our toaster and that is about it. Now this room actually connects with another room so if you wanted to have the room next door then you could have a bigger space we're not using that because we're not connecting with anyone i love how they have welcome adam's family on the tv it's super super welcoming and then out here will be our balcony but we'll show that in just a second here's our living area we have mom and dad intensely on their phones and not even paying attention to me, not even looking up. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and then to our left, <laughs> yeah, she's reading about the weather because we're a little bit concerned about the hurricane that could impact our cruise. So to the left, then we have our bathroom shower area. Again, they still have the smaller um, toiletries here at the Copper Creek Villas. And there is one sink, but here is the sink area and then there is a door like a barn door type thing that will close it off so you can use it as a dressing area if you want so that's fun and there's also a makeup mirror i'm not sure i showed this the last time but this is super helpful if you want to put your makeup on with a with a, a really nice light and it does swivel and is very flexible then we go into our bathroom area, your toilet, but look at all this room. I don't think we've ever had a bathroom as spacious as this at the Wilderness Lodge. There's all sorts of shelving here that's granite and super nice. Again, more toiletry items. It's almost like a treat at this point to get the small toiletries. 
There's a rain shower, which is so, so nice. I'm not sure I've ever stayed in a room with a rain shower before. I will definitely be taking advantage of that. But here is what makes this room super, super special. You actually have your primary bedroom off to its separate area. So this is almost a one bedroom suite. And then there's another TV over here that also says Welcome Adams Family. We have a bench for seating, or you can put a suitcase here. Here's your credenza area. And in the other rooms, most of the time the TV is located above this when it's just one room. But because this is multiple rooms, then um, we've got some artwork over here. We have our nightstands. We have a little bit of a dining area over here. And then some beautiful windows that look out another window over here and all of these can be closed with blinds so you got plenty of room to or plenty of blinds to close off the light if that's what you want to do so now let's check out this balcony area it's always interesting to figure out how to open it the first time Ooh. Unlock, um, unlock, here we go. So this is one of those dormer type balconies. Oh, we have a lovely view of the pool. This is such a great view. We have a couple of chairs out here and a table. I can definitely see myself having morning coffee out here tomorrow morning. So that's it. That concludes our room tour. And you guys, I am so excited because it's a very unique room. Like I said, there's only about six in this whole resort that are like that. We didn't request anything special to get it. It was just the luck of the draw. So we are going to have a lovely two nights here at Wilderness Lodge. Now we're going to call Bell Services to come get our luggage delivered, kind of rest a little bit and um, get ready for hoop to doo now mom is going outside to check out the view for the first time. She hasn't seen it yet. She was oh busy in her Lord. phone. Oh my goodness. Oh. So what you think mom? Oh, this is fabulous. Can we request this room again? <laughs> well, we can talk about it. I don't know how lucky we would get, but we can talk about it. <laughs> what you think, Daddy? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Mom says she doesn't want to leave, so you'd rather stay here than go on the wish? I don't know. It's a toss-up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, keep in mind we'll be in a hurricane here. True, true. Hello, we have just arrived to Hoop Dee Doo Musical Review at Pioneer Hall at um, Fort Wilderness Campground. And I'm so bad at this. We took one of the minivans to get here and it was so cute and I didn't film it. But I did take a few photos and I'll insert those right here. ever done the minivan before what do you think of it we thought they were super cute and it was a nice little treat to get us over here it was only a five minute ride so here we are again um, Pioneer Hall let me show you around we're a little bit early so we'll be checking in probably in the next half an hour or so and then we'll have a great time If you do are like us and you get here super early and you want something to sip on before the show starts they do have um, like a little bar set up over here with some wine and some beer um, that orange blossom looks really interesting and so they've got just several um, I'm guessing most of these are fairly local 
Um, and they also have soft drinks too. So, oh, and look at this. I found a hidden Mickey. How cute is that? It's a rope in the form of a Mickey. So come on over and get yourself some, some beverage before the show if you get here early. Here we go. We're all about to go in. Y'all hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah, well, I'm getting there, yeah. All right. fantastic table right in front of the stage we already have our salad cornbread all right we got our drinks i got a red sangria dad got a beer mom got a white sangria
So what were your reactions to Hoop Dee Doo? Oh, I think I thought it was great. One of the best ones I've seen. The food was great. The show was great. Worth the money. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best things I've done here. All right. Well, you you heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Hoop Dee Doo was an absolute hoot. All right, guys. So you heard the review from the parentals, and they thought it was the best show that they've seen in a really long time. We all had so much fun. 
We had the best seat by the front of the stage, and it was just a really fun, fun evening. So we're going to end this here. Tomorrow we have a lot of more fun things planned. It's a lazy day for the most part, but then tomorrow night is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, one of my favorite events of the year. And we are just getting this vacation started, and it has already been an outstanding day. So see you tomorrow.